Well, Claire, thank you very much for joining us here in Fortaleza. I remember speaking to you before the qualifiers to get here, and you were so excited at the prospect of becoming an Olympian. Now, you're only a week or so away from achieving it. How's it feel? Yeah, it feels awesome. Um, obviously, a lot's happened between now and then, and and we've we've grown as a group, and and we've got the opportunity now to to build on what we've achieved in the last few months, and and the opportunity to experience something that everyone in this team has dreamt of for a very long time and, and something that Australia has been waiting 12 years for in terms of um, women's football to be at the Olympics again. Now the Matildas have been knocking over milestones left, right and centre for the last couple of years now. Uh, in all your time with the team, and you're one of the most experienced here, is this as strong a Matildas lineup as you can remember? Yeah, I think so, and I think um, one of our key areas is the depth that we've got in the squad. Uh, we've got, you know, 18 to 20 players here training at the moment who can step in at any time and do a job. and And there's real comp competition for the starting spots, and um, I think that continues to help us push each other and, and reach higher levels of play. Here in Fortaleza, you've been here for a couple of weeks. It's very hot. Um, some of the hottest conditions in Brazil at the moment. How has that prepared you guys for what's going to be another hard slog in a couple of weeks' time? Yeah, I think it's been very key in our preparation. Uh, we're one of the first teams to be over here and acclimatising and, and getting used to the conditions. And the training that we've been doing the last couple of weeks, well, the conditions are, are a little bit hotter than what we probably will be playing in. But I think, you know, coming from our training camps in Canberra, it's been a big step up and a big difference in the temperature and the humidity and that sort of thing. So I think it's been really important for us to, to get this good couple of weeks um, under our belt and, and get um, as well as, as we can climatised to the conditions.